In extreme hot summer, many people, particularly the elderly, can suffer from heat stroke and die. In 2018, there were 65,000 global deaths due to extreme heat waves. Therefore, air conditioning is no longer a luxury but a necessity. Air conditioning can literally save lives and improve the quality of lives both at home and at work. So the question is, why are air conditioners not available everywhere? Present-day air conditioners, invented in 1902, suffer from a number of key challenges. Firstly, they consume a huge amount of energy. Secondly, they cause significant environment detriment due to the use of chemical refrigerant. And lastly, to cool a desired location, they emit a large amount of heat to the environment, creating undesirable heat zones. I have not really appreciated these challenges until I attended a seminar a few years ago on uh, global warming. Somebody from the seminar posed a question. Is a totally green air conditioner that is chemical-free and does not emit heat to the environment a possibility? I'm happy to share that the answer is yes, it is a possibility. And I'm going to show you in the subsequent slides. Conventional water-based air conditioners are not suitable for tropical climates, right? Because they work by spraying fine water particles on air. As the air temperatures drops, the humidity rises. I was certain that we could create a new generation of air conditioners that are low energy consuming and does not, use, does not need to use chemical refrigerant to produce cool and dry air. To produce dry air right, in, the, in the world, uh, silica gel is widely used, but we know that uh, to use silica gel is an expensive process and it's energy intensive as it requires high quality heat to push out the water uh, once it's previously that it was absorbed in a silica gel. Therefore, I, we need to look for a different possibility. Since membrane has been used to produce clean water, I toy with the notion of using membrane to sieve out water molecules from the air. Having conducted research on water-based cooler, I also knew that I could reconfigure my cooler in my lab to one that doesn't increase the humidity of air while it cools the air temperature, and also without the need to use a chemical refrigerant. Hybridizing the membrane dehumidifier and a water-based cooler, I demonstrated that I could produce cool and dry air to any desired location. Accordingly, the next generation of air conditioner was born. In 2017, after three years of intensive R&D, NUS designed and tested the first hybrid dehumidifier water-based air conditioner, labeled NUS Cool, to produce cool and dry air to any desired location without emitting heat to the environment. Most importantly, due to the use of water as a cooling medium to remove heat from the air and membranes to remove the moisture from the air, this newly evolved air conditioner does not produce heat as a byproduct. Rather, it produces cool and dry air to any desired space. In addition, this disruptive technology could double up as a water harvester from humid air for countries experiencing water shortage, such as India, Thailand, Myanmar, Vietnam, and Cambodia. As far as operational cost is concerned, compared to conventional air conditioner, it is expected to be 20 to 40% less expensive. The operational cost is also expected to be 30% less due to less energy used to produce the cool and dry air. NUS cool air conditioner has the potential to positively impact the industry, such as transportation, function in data centers, and offshore structures to provide energy efficient and environmental friendly cooling. NUS cool air conditioner is presently at the heart of the water, energy, and environmental nexus. It is ready to be replicated to the rest of the world to provide sustainable cooling for everybody. And finally, NAS cool air conditioning will help to lessen global warming, reduce death rates, make city distinctly green cities, envisage a future whereby NUS cool air conditioner replace conventional air conditioner to provide thermal comfort air for everybody without warming the planet. Right? So here I would like to make a claim. Here is to a cool, sustainable future. <laughs>